Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video we're taking a look at Light Elegance's new product launch for fall called Venture Into Beauty the Fall 2021 collection. The color gels and the glitter gels. I can't believe we are looking at fall colors already. I'm not ready for this as summer is still going quite strong here but let's not let that deter us and let's see what's in store for fall this year. So if you're curious to see what these colors are like, just keep on watching. Okay, so Venture Into Beauty, just by looking at this postcard, it looks like we're going to be seeing some earthy toned colors. So let's see if I'm right or not. And even from the labels, it looks like we might have a mustard yellow, a burgundy, some neutral mauves. So let's take a look at beauty through the lens first. This looks like it's going to be a burgundy color. And it does look like a burgundy color, but I'm seeing some brown tones in here. So let's see if that's true when we swatch this out. Okay. Oh, we've got some purple undertones in this. Okay. This also looks like a gray undertone as well. So a burgundy with a purple and a gray undertone. I think that gray undertone is what's really giving this that earthy feel. That's the only way I can describe it is an earthy feel. After a second layer, as you can see that I'm doing here, you do get a full opaque coverage. Burgundies are my absolute favorite colors for fall. I love when companies come out with a burgundy in their collection and this right away is just screaming fall to me and it even goes really nicely with the leaves in the background. So yeah, definitely a fall color and it goes nice on a pale skin tone like myself. Even on a darker skin tone, this color will look amazing on. So let's do some color comparisons. Ellie's Simmer Down has got a little bit more purple to it. Ellie's Hot Head is a little bit more pinky purple. Magic Gel's Royal Cherry is also a little bit more purpley pink and that's got a shimmer to it. Buttercream XOXO I thought would be similar, but it's got more of the pinky red tones to it. Ugly Duckling number 143 is even darker, okay. Light Elegance Nippy is even darker. Okay, Fast Lane I was really curious about. That's even a deeper toned burgundy as well. Okay, so nothing quite comparable yet. Poor Unfortunate Soul I thought would be close. This is similar, but a little bit deeper. Ellie's Burberry, I thought this would be closer, but it's not. So, okay, now I'm getting a good feel for this. First class only, that's more of a kind of a shimmery, metallic-y red. Same with this Ugly Duckling number 45. But this gives you a good sense of beauty through the lens. And Telltale Heart, the buttercream, is even deeper yet. So what else do we have here? On Vogue's Burgundy, that's similar, but a shade darker. <laughs> Raspberry Ripple, that's super close, I have to say. Red Mahogany by Magic Gel, that's a little bit deeper. Emlac Ruby Red by Magic Gel, that's got a little bit more red to it. So that's a lot of comparisons. So let's move on to Graceful Gazelle. And this looks like a deep red. So almost leaning on that burgundy side, but more so a red. And I'm wondering, would you call this a brick red? Because it does have a lot of brown tones to it. So again, brown tones, gray undertones. So that kind of makes it really earthy looking. Okay, and after two layers, you do get a nice opaque coverage. Two thin layers, that's all you really need with these Light Elegance color gels. I love this color. It's in the red family, so of course I'm gonna like it, right? <laughs> This is a really unique color, and I mean that in a positive way. This is gorgeous. In the red family, I, I'm unsure of how to describe what color this is than kind of a fall red. So let's compare this to ruby red, and ruby red's 
a deeper ruby red color. <laughs> Magic Gel number 221. That's pretty close, but a little bit more of that berry red. Number 215 is even lighter. On Vogue's Roxanne is more of a red with an orange undertone. Loose lips. Yeah, th these aren't comparing at all. So let's move on to grazing the grasslands. And grazing the grasslands kind of looks like a mustard yellow, but it's got a gray undertone to it. So it's an earthy mustard yellow. This one is really unique. I don't know, would you call this like a honey mustard yellow? Maybe honey mustard, or is that lighter? I'm not sure, but this is a really unique color. And I don't find that it is a bold, in your face ucky color but a really nice fall color like look how well it goes with the leaf in the background like those two colors ombre together would look stunning and after two thin layers i did get an opaque coverage yeah i'm really impressed with this one i'm not a yellow girl at all i would never wear 10 nails of yellow of any shade of yellow but I would ombre this with another fall color. I would even put some glitter on this, like with what I'm wearing. It's just beachy, loose glitter from Glitter Boutique Canada. Put that on there and you could wear it in the early fall. That would be stunning. So let's do some color comparisons. On Vogue Simply Paint in gold. Well, that's more of a metallic gold. Ugly Duckling number 166. That's got more of a green undertone to it. So, and it's deeper, so not really comparable. Hear Me Roar is not close at all. <laughs> Remember when Hear Me Roar came out? Everyone was so excited to finally get a mustard yellow. And we have Sun Kissed by Magic Gel. That's lighter and doesn't really compare. So let's move on to the next color, which is khakis and cameras. Now, what is this color? Is it gray? Is it a gray with a green undertone? Is it a taupe? I don't know, but it is gorgeous. I have not seen a color quite like this before. So as I'm putting the second layer down, I'm seeing more green to this neutral color. And I am baffled. I have no idea how to describe what this color is all about. Is it a beige? Is it a tan? Is it a gray? Is it a taupe? Is it? <laughs> but it is so pretty. I love this color. We have Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 25. That's more of your light army green. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 28, I think. That's a lighter shade. On Vogue's O Natural. That's similar, but lighter. Just a tad lighter. Then we have Ellie's Control Freak, and that's got more mauvey purple tones to it. And Nude with Attitude. I just wanted you to see how khakis and cameras is so different and unique. Outer Perfection is more of a tan beige color. So yeah, really different. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is called Pack Your Passport. And it's kind of hard to see what this color is in the pot. Is it a burgundy? Is it a brown? Is it a green? Is it a deep charcoal gray? Like look at on the swatch stick, there's gray undertones to it. And in the pot, it looks like a deep chocolate color or on the swatch stick it almost looks like a deep deep green with a gray undertone i'm confused like this is gorgeous i just don't know how to describe this color at all okay so when i'm putting the second layer on it's looking like a deep deep i don't know an army green military green with brown undertones or a chocolate brown with green undertones i have no idea it is stumping me like you wouldn't believe, but I would wear this on all 10 nails. It's a beautiful fall color. Pair it up with some glitter, some oranges as you can see in the backdrop. Pair it up with those kind of colors. But I wanna see if I have anything comparable to this color, which I don't think I do. So we have Martinis in the Lab, which is super close, but Martinis in the Lab's got a bit of a gold shimmer to it. Military Olive, so that's more green. You can really see the green in the Military Olive. 
Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 24 is a more of an deep olive green. Oh, wow, I'm stumped. Jane of the Jungle is more of an olive green, so you can see the difference here. But it, they're similar. Fusion's Time for Me, that's got more green in it. Light Elegance G.I. Jane, yeah, doesn't really compare at all. I'm stumped. Ugly Duckling number 117, that's more of a deep emerald green. Fusion Serenity, that's more of a, that's a glitter, obviously, but doesn't compare. Okay, let's move on to the last color called Rotu Zanzibar. And this is a beautiful traditional fall color, a fall kind of mauve taupe color. This is gorgeous. I love these colors alongside of burgundies. I love seeing this color in a collection for fall. And this color also has some gray undertones to it. So very slight gray undertone that gives it that earthy feel. And when you put that second layer on, it definitely makes this color more opaque. And it almost has a, like a red undertone to it when I'm putting the second layer on. So this collection really has me kind of stumped. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Just it's difficult for me to describe these colors. They're so beautiful. Like in this shot, I can really see the gray undertone to the color. So let's do some color comparisons. First base obviously doesn't compare why I'm showing it. Yeah, I always do that. Easy Breezy, I thought this color would be close, but it's not. Tawny Birch, that's got a little bit more brown to it. So you can really see the purpley grays in Road to Zanzibar. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 36, that's a deeper chocolate brown, so it doesn't compare. Ellie's I Clove You has got more red base to it. I thought this would be closer in color, but it's not. Okay, let's move on to the glitters. Adventure Awaits. And this one kind of reminds me of Oopsie Daisy. So I just want to take a quick look to see if it compares or not in the pots. And Oopsie Daisy's got more, it doesn't compare at all. It's more of a cool toned glitter gel. But if you have Oopsie Daisy, this one is similar in consistency. So it's got that, the lighter shades of glitter in here with that champagne gold glitter or almost that white tea, white tea, white tea, is that even a color? White silvery kind of glitter that's in here. That's similar to Oopsie Daisy, but this is a more warm toned glitter gel. So perfect for fall. So let's do some color comparisons. A couple of coconuts by Light Elegance. That's a different shade altogether. So if you have Oopsie Daisy and a couple of coconuts and you know that consistency, that is what Adventure Awaits is like. So it's comparable in that way in the consistency aspect. And I'm babbling on and not describing any of these glitters that I'm noticing doesn't compare at all. <laughs> Okay, next glitter gel is called Kiss Me in Kenya. And Kiss Me in Kenya totally surprised me. This is a gorgeous rose colored glitter gel. And the glitters in here are so fine. There's flecks of rose colored glitter along with gold. And it's gorgeous. I've not seen anything like this before. This is definitely a fall color. And I would wear this on all 10 nails and that's it. No bling, no stamps, nothing. I would just wear this glitter gel. It it is just absolutely stunning. Okay, I lied. I would probably add some gold Swarovski crystals to this glitter gel. Okay, let's compare this to some of the Wildflowers reflective gels. This is Cherry Bomb and that's a deeper color. Harlot has more brown or warm tones to it. So that's even more of a deeper color. Rose has more berry tones to it, so doesn't really compare. And Radiance is more of a, I don't know, a plum color? <laughs> Twinkle is more of a purpley plum color. Then we have Ellie's Shake Your Salt Shaker, which is a lighter rosy peach kind of color, doesn't compare. Jive and Ginger, I thought would be more comparable, but it's not. Jive and Ginger is more of a ginger color. <laughs> This one's got the same tones in it, but obviously 
not completely comparable. You Bring the Wine also has some similar glitter colors in there. And Ellie's Thunderstruck, that's got more orangey red tones to it. Okay, let's move on. The next color is called Nairobi Nights. And Nairobi Nights is a really nice blue glitter. I'm seeing some turquoise, some purples, some gold, a lot of different colors in this glitter gel. And the glitters are very fine as well. This glitter gel reminds me of Mermaid by Light Elegance, but Mermaid's got more of the turquoisey, tealy greens in that glitter gel. And this one's definitely a blue based, if you will, glitter gel. Now it is in a clear base, but it's more of the blue tones. And all of these glitter gels, I would build up into two layers, or I would put a matching base color down first. And then that way your nail isn't too bulky, but this one's very gorgeous. So let's do some color comparisons. This is Well Seasoned by Light Elegance. Now I would put this color down and Nairobi Nights on top. That would be stunning. Kiss of Death is a deeper blue, midnight blue with glitter in it. Rain Rain Go Away, that's also got a slight shimmer to it. What the Hail is more of a black pewter gunmetal kind of glitter gel. Storm Chaser, that's kind of way purple, so doesn't compare at all. Mrs. Got Rocks is a chunkier glitter and it's more of a blue, purpley blue based. This one doesn't compare at all, but it's pretty. <laughs> Feisty and spicy, that's got more green or turquoise in it. Ellie's poppy seed, that's got more blue and purple in it. En Vogue Swanky Panky, that's more of a deep royal purple. And let's move on to Safari Sweetheart. This one looks like it's gonna be pretty, and it is pretty. This is like a berry, a cranberry, or a wine burgundy color with flecks of gold glitter in here. This one is stunning. Now, now I would build this up into two thin layers or put a color underneath the glitter gel to build it up to give it that opaque look. And this is after two layers, cured for 30 seconds. I've cured all these gels in this video for 30 seconds in my LED dot lamp because I always forget to say the important things. <laughs> okay, let's compare this to Wildflower's Ritzy Ruby, and this is their reflective gel. Same tones, Twinkle, which is also the reflective gel from Wildflower's, that's a little bit more purple. Edgar Allan Purpo Buttercream does not compare at all. <laughs> Fusion's Love Bug, that's a little bit lighter, but in the same family. Then we have Ellie's Candy Apple, and that's more of a cranberry color, and that's it. So let's move on to Tour Guide. And Tour Guide is kind of a brown, gold, rosy colored. But then when you swatch it, it looks like gold and black glitter. So despite what I'm seeing on the screen right now, and it's confusing me, I am seeing some pink undertones in this glitter somewhere. I would wear this glitter on all 10 nails. This is how much I really love this fall color. And I happen to think it looks nice with my skin tone. <laughs> okay, let's do some color comparisons. We have Bronze Babe by Wildflowers, and this is the reflective gel. So kind of, sort of, not really. <laughs> Fusion Sweet. It has some similar shades to it. Happy Fall, y'all, is definitely a deeper brown color. Ugly Duckling Color Gel number 35. Same kind of, I could, I would pair these two colors up together. Ellie's Thunderstruck has got more copper shades to it and orange shades. So let's move on to Trunk Full of Love. And Trunk Full of Love is gray. <laughs> is this gray glitter and it almost looks like a matte gray glitter with very fine flux of silver glitter, like so fine you can hardly tell. And it almost has a blue undertone to it as well. Okay, so next to my skin tone, I'm seeing that this glitter gel is more of a pewter color. And I have to be honest, it's not doing much for me. Maybe I can incorporate this glitter gel into a Halloween design. So let's compare this to Sparks Reflective Gel by Wildflowers. That's kind of the same tone, but the reflective gel's got more of that silver pop of color in it. Butter Bling Hollow doesn't compare, but it's kind of in that same 
same family. Hollow is way more holographic. Magic Gel Starburst and their MLAC formula. That's got more holographic glitters in it. And that's all I have to compare. So let's recap this collection. What do I think? I love the fact that I'm seeing a lot of earthy tones in this collection in both the colors and the glitters. I like the pop of color with the yellow. I think it's something, it's definitely something I don't have in my collection and it's softer because of that gray undertone to it. I love khakis and cameras which is that gray with that green undertone and pack your passport which is that is it a brown or is it a deep olive green is it what color is that? I love those two colors and those two colors together would look amazing. I like that there is a red and a burgundy and a neutral, like I said, and the yellow. As for the glitters, the only one I'm not sold on is Trunk Full of Love, which is that matte pewter gray glitter. And I'm really struggling with Nairobi Nights, even though it's a gorgeous blue glitter gel and it's definitely a fall color, it doesn't go with any of the color gels. So in that case, could we switch out a burgundy or the red and put in a blue? I don't know. It's definitely a fall color and it definitely falls into the theme of Venture Into Beauty, that theme. As for the earthy tones that I'm seeing, it just sort of seems a little misplaced, but it's gorgeous. Having said that, I do really like this collection. In fact, I love this collection. So don't take the fact that I find that a glitter gel or a color is misplaced. I still like them as individual colors or glitter gels. So I just wanted to clarify that. So tell me what you think. What are your thoughts on this collection? Do you think this is a collection you're going to pick up? Do you have any ideas of how to use Trunk Full of Love, the pewter gray glitter? Comment that down below. And as always, don't forget to follow me on all my social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Share, like, and comment and thank you for watching everyone and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys!